So I'm going to resume navigation and we'll, uh, the brake will disengage and we'll start moving. So earlier you might have seen some video clips of us uh, establishing and setting up a mission for uh, one of our tractors. And so now we're, we're out here at our, 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 our shop, if you will, and the tractor's across the street. And what we got to show is just us remote starting the tractor and kicking it off on, on a mission that we've got assigned to it. So, so this is our, uh, our uh, makeitgovroom.com, which is our, our website optimized for mobile. You can see that the speed is zero, the engine RPM is zero, the PTO is off. You can see, see what the fuel take level is here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to attempt to start the engine here. And so now it's, it's spinning up to speed and now you can see the engine RPM rising up to around 800 RPM. I can also see you know, that there's, there's the machine, it's on its plan. And, um, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to, well first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check through some, you know, make sure all the statuses are okay. You know, does it have good GPS signal? It's got enough fuel. Um, I see the engine RPM, I can see the diesel exhaust fluid level, it's engine coolant temperature obviously is pretty cold right now and the, and the PTO is off. So, so now we should be able to press play and now the machine will start navigating. And so it's moving along at about four and a half miles per hour. It's a little, we got set for it to go a little slower today just because of the snowy conditions. So that's it. Yeah, so this is this is autonomous farming, remote starting, set the tractor off on a mission, and if you'd like, we can kind of peek out the door here and, and see, kind of see the tractor just kind of doing its thing out there. But yeah, this is, um, this is where you want to get to in autonomy, boredom. Like finding yourself with you know, the task of finding something else to do. Um, that's, what I, that's what autonomy is all about. So no, I don't know if you want to, I, I can pause the tractor and uh, we, can go, we can go hop in and go for a ride. Basically what our computer does is it, it basically emulates the controls that are already pre-existing in the tractor. So that computer is basically acting like this armrest. So I'm gonna resume navigation and we'll, uh, the brake will disengage and we'll start moving. What I've kind of found with, with these tractors, with these autonomous operating systems are, is they make great offices for, for getting a lot of work done. Uh, and I, I am actually very guilty of uh, working several Saturdays and Sundays, uh, you know, on my laptop in, in here in the cab and the tractor just, just kind of moving along and, and doing its things. With that said, I think that that's, that's going to be kind of the paradigm shift when, when autonomy, as autonomy comes into the marketplace is that you know, we may not live in a world where, where the operators just leave the, leave the machines alone to, to you know, operate, I'll say, um, freely. I envision a world where you might have multiple systems in one field, but maybe just one operator. And that one operator is keeping an eye on the tractors, is keeping an eye on the implements, making sure that everything's working as it should, making sure nothing's catching on fire. So I, in agriculture, I just don't think that you know, things are in a, a place where the operator or the human can be taken out of the loop. But I will say that the technology that, that's coming to the marketplace sure makes it maybe easier for, for one operator to, to command you know, multiple, multiple machines and get a lot of work done in a, in a given day.